I've talked a little bit about YouTube and I hope I have convinced you that it needs to be a major part of your world. But I wanted to get on here and tell you even further. I wanted to implore you. So again, you can speed me up if you need to, but let's talk about it. Okay. Actually, I'm going to do this like I'm on YouTube. I'm going to talk to you. So listen, I ignore YouTube too. I ignored YouTube. I knew it was there. I definitely watched some videos. I dabbled in interviewing people for my podcast on video back in 2020, I think it was, early 2020 before the COVID. I did all that. It was fun. It was cool. But I didn't take it very seriously and I didn't learn anything about it. I just let people upload. I even ignored it when my own brother was hitting heights of 100 million views and then 200 million views, and most recently 250 million views. It was last year, it was about a year ago, maybe 12 months ago, that I decided, okay, I'm going to go even further with this video thing. So I am going to do very uh, high quality video podcasting. And I did some great interviews and I had some incredible guests and some of them have shown up in this master class. So it's even cooler than I thought it was going to be originally because now I can show you my Amy Porterfield uh, interviews and my Danielle Leslie interviews and my uh, uh, Danny interviews, all et cetera, et cetera. And I'll continue to do that. I think I'll keep filming and you'll see that throughout. But it wasn't until December of 2023 that I got super serious about YouTube because I had a book coming out, this one, Your First Million, in January of 2024, and I knew that I wanted to kick things into high gear. I had been binging since Thanksgiving on Gary Vee and Alex Hermosi and Ali Abdal And just different people, whether you know these names or not, they are very much so in the space of uh, content marketing and and YouTube uh, specifically. And I thought, wow, do I have, first of all, I have a story. And it seems to me that the people with the most success on YouTube have a story. So I have a story. Boy, do I. (laughs) I've invested in more than 200 companies. I used to be homeless just a decade ago. I help a lot of people. I want to help create a thousand new millionaires. I, there's a lot going on, right? There's a lot going on. So I thought that's a good thing. Then I thought, hey, if I can open up more views, more people seeing me, maybe that'll open up more opportunity. Maybe more people will know about my book and buy my book. And then more people, more people will hear my message. So I started filming in earnest and really documenting, doing the vlogging style, like documenting my life at the second half of December of 2023. And I just went all in on everything that I did. I knew I was going to be on this book tour. I knew I was going to be in these interesting meetings. I was prepping for your first million live the first year. I knew there would be something interesting there. So I got that in place. I have my brother documenting me and I have all kinds of things going on there. And then I said, on top of the YouTube thing, I'm also going to have a lot of the short form to put on these different platforms because I've just been hearing it over and over again, and why not give it a try? And boy, am I glad I did. I started seeing immediate results. And even before YouTube, with the content marketing, with just the the short form, just by taking the number of posts I did and 10xing that, which sounds like a lot, but it's not a lot of work that is. Just by doing that without anything else, the number of opportunities that I have had have exploded. Now, of course, I have not taken all of those opportunities because if I did, I would be a hypocrite. I haven't taken all those opportunities because I do need to focus to be where I'm supposed to be. But the fact that those opportunities are now there for me to choose and the quality of them higher and higher and higher, national television to get my word out, different partners, different amounts of revenue and resources so that I can do more of the work that I'm here to do. 
That is a direct result of me 10xing my output on social, LinkedIn, and YouTube. So I used to post mainly on Instagram. I would post maybe one, two posts every one or two, three days. And I would pay attention to it. I, I looked at all of my comments. I read all of my DMs. I cared about the posts I put out there. And I cared about the numbers too, the stats. And then every blue moon I would post on threads and every blue moon I would post on LinkedIn. And every once in a while I would go back to Twitter, X. And I, I wouldn't open TikTok because I was like, I can't even get into this. I can't do it. But when I thought about this over the Thanksgiving holiday and I said I want to go all in, I really started, really started. So instead of 10 posts total across all platforms per week, I bumped it up to 100 post, posts per week. And in the video where I talked to the Dallas real estate entrepreneur, Monica, that's further up in this uh, master class, I tell you exactly how I do that. But essentially the summary of it is I have all of the platforms in one folder on my iPhone. I press that folder, I open it up, and I have six or seven places I can go. I take the same video and I post it to different places that it's appropriate for. I change the copy a little bit or the title a little bit. Then for the ones like LinkedIn or X or Threads, I don't always post the video. Sometimes I post just the caption. Sometimes I post a link to a video. Sometimes I do something based on the profile of the platform. And I do that every day, a couple times a day. And it takes me about 15 minutes total per day. So when you do that 14 times a day, 15 times a day, again, just opening this folder, posting here, posting here, copy, paste, post here, curate it, make it for the platform. When you do that, and you do that every day, it adds up to 100. And... I did that. I was like, well, let's see what happens. Of course, people are going to be like overwhelmed by me. But you know what's really interesting? The algorithm. <laughs> like, think about how many people you have on your Instagram and then how many people actually see your posts. Maybe the same people seeing them again over and over again. So they may say, you might get the, oh, you're everywhere. I get that a lot. Oh, you're everywhere. Yeah, I am. Thank goodness I'm me. <laughs> you're welcome. But most people are not seeing your stuff. Or if, they're, if you're posting it less, they're not seeing it at all. So it's okay to post. It's okay to be a billboard. It's okay. Because don't you, isn't the point of this, do you want people to know about what you're doing? You can keep things private. There, if you think about Gary Vee, we don't know what his children look like for the most part. Have, I, have you ever seen his child? I've heard him allude to them. I've heard him call on, you know, on their birthday. I don't know what they look like. I don't know what his wife looks like. And I'm his friend. You can look it up online, but does he have her all over the, the video? Does he have, you know, his significant other all over the video? The mother of his children, significant other? Not really. He's pretty private. To be all over the place, and if you don't know who I'm talking about, look up Gary Vaynerchuk. But to be all over the place and post as much as he does, and still we don't know what his children look like, we're not 100% sure what their ages are, you can do it if he can do it. So you don't have to be all of you everywhere. It's just you want your billboard up. You want your signage up. So let me go back to YouTube because that's what I'm really wanting to put here. YouTube is kind of the mothership. After I unlocked and on January 1st, 2024, posted my first like version 2.0 or ver version 3.0 video on YouTube, even with just a thousand or two thousand views that were slowly built up over days and weeks, so much came from that. You get to know your audience and your customers so incredibly intimately when you post in this way, especially on YouTube. The comments, the feedback, the messages, 
the way that they watch, you get to see all that in the back end, what they watch, what they skip over, where they leave the video, how many likes, all of that makes so much more sense on YouTube. And not only that, you can use YouTube to pay some of the bills. Once you have 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours in a uh, year-long period, a 12-month period, which you can get in a day or 12 months, once you have that, you can monetize on YouTube. And sometimes it's a lot and sometimes it's a little. But you can do that. You can also sell, send people to your website to sell things. Whatever your company is, and this is the big important part, whatever your company is, it's selling something, right? A service, a product. You can send people from YouTube directly there by talking about it in the video, putting the link there in the video, and putting it in your description. So if you have a company that's about HR, you have an HR agency, you can post videos about HR-related topics and have yourself as a resource if they want to learn more, if they want a certain product. You can educate people. You can entertain people. It is like having your own television network. You can, or your, definitely your own show, but even your network, because you can post whatever you want, whenever you want, any hour of the day. And you can send it to people, and people can embed it in their websites. It is incredibly transformative. And for you at $250,000 on your way to $1 million, it could be the way that you get to the $1 million. So if you have not taken YouTube seriously up until this point, your next move, and this is going to, some people are going to drop out after this. It's okay. If you want to get to a million, you're going to listen to me. Your next move, if you have not already or if you've only dabbled, is you're going to spend several hours going down the wormhole and just learning as much as you can about YouTube. You're going to look up Think Media on YouTube. Think Media. You're going to look up Gary V. You're going to look up Alex Hermosi, uh, The Hintons. You're going to look up different people. You're going to look at my stuff, all the videos I have, not just what I'm putting out there, but look at the order. Look at the thumbnail, which is that picture that shows you what the video is about. Look at the titles. Look at the descriptions. See how they've evolved over time. Look at the number count. Go to Callum Johnson's uh, page. Look at what he's doing and how he's thinking about things. You're going to do that. Some people are going to watch this. If you got this far, you're going to be so frustrated with me. You're going to say, this is why I pay $30 a month. It's a steal, by the way. <laughs> but you're going to be like, this is it? You're telling me about YouTube? Some of you are going to say, I'm done, and you're going to go away, and you're going to unsubscribe. That's okay with me. It's going to be okay. <laughs> because the ones who listen to me, and go and watch Ali Abdal and watch his videos and even join his course, the YouTube Academy, part-time YouTube Academy. Those of you who watch all 50 of the, of the Think Media videos that you're about to watch and then implement that, because that's what it's all about, executing. You're going to tell me in a few months that you've reached your first million and that that had something to do with it. Now, if you're asking yourself, well, what if I put out videos already and I only get like four views or 50 views and nobody seems to be watching or doing anything, taking any action? It's most likely because you're not doing it with a certain intention and process. That's what was happening with me when I first started. When I very first started, I would just upload and think, oh, I'm uploading. So, you know, they're going to come to it. If I build it, they will come. YouTube is really interesting in that it does try to help you get out into their, into their forefront, to the algorithm. It works with you, but it needs your help. And the, reason, the way it needs your help are very specific things. Like I mentioned, the thumbnail, the title, the timing of when you post, 
the comments that come in, how many people watch in the first few hours, all of that, the tags that you do, the topics that you choose, the niche, niche topics that you have, all of that has something to do with it. And if you don't know the rules and the guidelines to even try to break them, then you're going to be just doing this in vain. You're going to be like screaming into the void. But all it does take is like, like I learned a ton of this over a three or four day Thanksgiving weekend. And then I kept learning, right? I kept learning. But all it's going to take is you to say, look, okay, I want to get to more of this, these modules and these lessons. I want to get to my first million. But right now I'm going to take a week or two weeks off from this course. And I'm just going to go watch everything I can that, that I just mentioned. Right? I'm just going to go and just watch all the Think Media stuff I can, all the Ali Abdal I can, all the stuff that I kind of find myself about starting a YouTube channel and why it matters, all the case studies, all of my stuff, all of your first million stuff. And if you do that, something will change. You will have better results. If you do what I just said and then you act on it, you will have better results. And I know it's frustrating and I know it's time consuming, but how important is it for you to make more money doing something fun and that's fulfilling and that you like doing that takes fewer hours than spending the next 10 or 20 or 30 years at a job or several jobs that you hate to make the same amount that you can make in one year? If you can go from 250k to one million dollars in a year or two or three years. And you can make 10 times what you would make working somewhere else in that time period so that you three, five, or 10x. Isn't it worth taking a few minutes right here and going to do some research? I think it is. <laughs>